What's up guys? So this is the other video. Um, as the title says, so you wanna put your airlift controller in your visor like this. I'm gonna do that. See some visor right there? Like, right there, see? Visor. So we'll do that. Pretty sure you can do this on any Honda. Probably most Japanese cars, to be honest. All you need is a visor. So on these cars, you know, the little plastic piece, which this is all, you know, this is what I was doing the process of. There's usually a mirror right here. This piece, as you can see, there's little clippies right there. Little clippy clips. They just go in here, 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 and there. And they're held in by this kind of glue. You can kind of see some of it. See how it's like kind of orange? Not really sure. I'm assuming it's some kind of like, you know, dealership epoxy or whatever that Honda uses. Uh, it's held in pretty good. So you kind of, what I did is I just pulled and started prying slowly around. And then it just, you know, kind of tore and came out. Which, it's okay if it tears. Uh, next thing to do is the glass. The glass is held in by these little clippies that are right there. My piece of glass is not It's gone. I threw it away, I don't know where it's at. But once you get the glass out and you have this separated, you have stuff to the side. You have this cardboard and the foam. So trim the cardboard out. So put the airlift piece in, trim the cardboard. As you can see, I kind of trace, you can see some Sharpie right there. Traced it and then laid it in and it's the perfect fit. You, there's these, you know, this piece of cloth in here. You gotta trim some of that. And you'll see what I mean when, if, when you do it. Trim it, lay it out. Um, don't cut this, don't cut this, because you need this backing. So then what I did is I laid the controller in. I ran the USB cord through this little hole here, all the way up, and ran it out. It comes out right here. So it's literally a straight shot. I just ran it out. So the controller was in, wire was in. So you can take, take the controller back out. Um, then take this thing, and what I did is I put a little bit of glue right here on the inside of this, all the way around here, this lip. Put some like a, some, I think I put super glue or hot something. You know, just stick it on there. And you're gonna wanna kinda probably clamp it so it holds it. And then this will be attached again. And it'll look like that. Then put the controller in, which on my controller, I took a, I glued a piece of, um, like very, very, very thin cardboard in here. Which you're probably wondering, but th this cardboard backing here is really thick, so it's not going to work very well. So I just glued a, a little thin piece in there. And then I took some command strips, temporarily, put on the back of the controller, stuck the controller in, and then it was mounted like this. So, you can turn the display on the other controllers, and you can turn the buttons. On the back side, there's two screws, take them screws out, and you can turn the little buttons on it, and then in the settings, you just need to change the display orientation. Super, super, super easy. Stuck it in there, and when you have it in, it'll close, and then it'll look like I showed you in the beginning of the video, but I'll show you again. Pull it down, boom, it's open right there. And then as you can see, the cord runs out, and it runs right in my A pillar, and then runs down, and then it goes all the way back around the management. When you close it, boom, tuck. Nice. Go away. Nice and hidden as it should be. That's it, nothing to it. I'm assuming you could probably do that. These visors are probably the same in most, most 90s Hondas. Um, it's nothing complicated. Just be careful, be careful. Mine are black because I dyed them black with a uh, SEM interior. Uh, Landu, Landau, Lando, Lando, Calrissian? No, it, it's the like the Landu or whatever black. It's the, it's, it's the Honda black, the SEM black. I don't remember the number. If you just type in SEM black Honda interior paint trim dye, whatever you want to call it, it'll come up. It's it's the one. That's the one I used. Stuff's fantastic. Uh, it stuck right to the vinyl, perfect. And I dyed it black. Um, clean it before you do it. Be very careful when cutting. Obviously, you do not want to cut through the vinyl because they are just vinyl sun visors. So a knife will go right through it if you're not careful. That was my test one. Uh, that's it. Very simple, very straightforward. Uh, I saw this first on another car. I think it was a, I think, I think it was an FRS. I'm not 100%, or it was like a big body VIP. Uh, if, if you have a 3D printer or something, you can make a little a little beauty piece. I'm gonna make one eventually, but it, very simple, straightforward. Um, that's it. So that was a quick little one. Just give a little walkthrough real fast, nothing crazy, super simple. Just be careful, do to your own risk.
Um, and on that note, have a great day, guys.